Hey guys, Dr. J here. The top nutrients that you need to improve your hair health. This is a common question I get a lot with my patients. Why is my hair thinning? Why is the quality of my hair going down? The first thing is we have to make sure we are breaking down protein adequately. Your hair, right? This is all keratin, right? So we want to make sure it's protein based. We want to make sure we're getting good essential fatty acids, good protein. So we're either adding in collagen peptides, we're eating grass-fed animal protein, we're getting egg yolks, right? Good vitamin A, good compounds to build up that hair follicle. And we wanna make sure we have enough hydrochloric acid and enzymes to break down those healthy fats and those healthy proteins. This is mostly protein, right? And so for hair pigment, copper is essential. So you're gonna get that in egg yolks, uh, any of your oysters or seafood, grass-fed beef, copper is essential, about one milligram a day. We also want zinc. Zinc is essential for the hair as well. You're gonna need about, let's say 20 to 25 milligrams a day is a really good rule of thumb for how much zinc you need. Uh, selenium is also very important for the hair. Copper and selenium are very important for hair pigments. And acetylcysteine, very helpful for that catalase enzyme to help neutralize hydrogen peroxide to keep that melanin from being bleached by that peroxide at the follicle level. That catalase enzyme is gonna need glutathione to help neutralize or to help neutralize that peroxide. Same with selenium too. Um, next, we are going to need good routine. So showering, I recommend get a good chlorine shower filter. I think it's a KD57. It's in a filter, it's got charcoal base. It's gonna filter out a lot of the potential chlorine and things that could be bleaching your hair or drying it out. And a good, a good shampoo. I use one that's gonna have some really good aloe, uh, organic oils in there. Um, reducing DHT can be very helpful because DHT from a male perspective, if you have androgenic alopecia, maybe not as much for females unless you have PCOS, that can really shrink the follicle. And you really wanna get that DHT down. And sometimes having a good saw palmetto in your shampoo, taking it orally as well, and maybe even topically on your skin at night could be great on your scalp skin. And then copper peptides can be wonderful because that's gonna really help neutralize the peroxides. It's gonna help provide more raw material to make that catalase and to help good pigment in your skin slash hair, I mean. And then of course, biotin is important. You know, if you're gonna be getting good grass-fed meat, good egg yolks, making sure you're breaking down these nutrients, that's key. Now, we may have to look deeper. There could be some gut issues or some hormonal issues that can be a big player, especially with women as they go more menopausal, low estrogen, low progesterone, low DHEA can definitely impact hormones on the female side, guys is a little bit different, but the raw material part from the digestion, from the gut function is still gonna be incredibly essential to look at.